Well, hello scrappers and welcome back to my channel. In a previous video, I talked about how I buy chips on eBay uh, and how to find a bargain and how to avoid the pitfalls on eBay. And, you know, at the end of that video, I bought an actual listing on eBay of scrap IC chips. And this is that box has just arrived containing that listing of scrap chips. So I thought we'd do a little unboxing video and see what we got. And uh, let's see, this is, this is just the invoice. It's automatically generated by eBay. I know because I sell on eBay as well as buying. And then it looks like we've got a lot of little bags here. Number six, number four, uh, packing, number five, Number two, and then look at this. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. All right. Whoa. All right. So cool. Let's see what we got here. We got uh, all this stuff. So, this looks like PGA RAM chips right here. Yeah, DDR23 BGA RAM chips, 3.529 pounds. All right. And there's, looks like we got some other BGAs mixed in. That's a Broadcom BGA. That's okay, they've got good gold too. And, ah, oh, there's another one. So not all RAM chips, but that's okay, because those Broadcom BGAs, they're, they're okay too. And it looks like we got more BGA RAM chips, mostly RAM chips, though I see some more of those big Broadcom BGAs in here. And what's this? I guess that's a RAM chip. Just different shape, form factor. Broadcom. What's this? Qualcomm. Alright, so there's a variety of small BGAs in here, but I'm sure they'll all be good for gold. And over here, uh, mixed flat ICs, two and four sided trimmed. Okay, so these are the ones that, yeah, nice enough to trim the legs off back to the package. That is nice. Oh yeah, oh yeah, all trimmed. That's nice. Excellent. This actually looks like 2.16 pounds. Looks like more than was in the in the photos. I love it when you get something and it looks like better than it was in the photos. What do we got here? Move this stuff back a little bit. Stuff out of the way. Let's have a have a look at this. Okay, so these are the uh, DDR RAM chips with trimmed legs. Nice, nice, already trimmed. I love it. So this stuff, this stuff that's already trimmed, let me put this back in here so I know what it is. This is all ready for processing pretty much. Um, I would probably give the BGA chips a boil in muriatic acid just to get the little tin balls off the bottom of them before I do anything else. But otherwise, they're pretty much ready for processing. So that's nice. What have we got here? Heavy flats, two and four sided trim. So again, more uh, flat packs and it's not a ceramic. It says ROM, but it's not a ceramic. It's plastic. It's probably a PROM. So we got some uh, we got some dips, and I wouldn't be surprised if some of these are magnetics. I'll bet these are not really IC chips. I'll bet these are really the uh, yeah. I can see where the epoxy's broken on the bottom of that. These have got transformers in them, so these are not actually IC chips. So there's a few in here. So I'll separate them out when I'm ready to process, just so I don't contaminate everything with a bunch of uh, 
iron and extra copper. Let's see. Yeah. Must have been a prom chip. Okay. So these are pretty much ready for processing too since they've had the legs taken off. we got here? Oh, put that back in. I'll just have to separate out the magnetics. Ah! Yes! Gold Corner BGAs. Nice. Tops only. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Whoops, got to find that one. No escape for you. Yep. Alright, so again, since these are tops only, these are pretty much just ready to go into my process. Yep, I don't even have to cut the bottoms off, so that's or, or peel the bottoms off. That's nice. Okay, and then last but not least, let's see what we got here. Actually, it probably is last and least. Yeah, so uh, miscellaneous ICs untrimmed. Yeah, so we got some we got some ceramics, ceramic, ceramic. Plastic, ceramic, a lot of ceramic uh, EEPROMs in here, and some plastic PROMs by the looks of it. I'll have to peel the labels off and see what some of these are. PAL chips, uh, LLCC chips, yeah, yeah. I'll have to look through these. Some of these that still have all their legs on them and aren't too terribly bent might be useful in my retro computing projects. Although that's a prom, I can tell by the number, so it can't be reused. Program one time programmable. Yeah, that's a one time programmable as well. But I do see some EEPROMs here. Oh, and we got some more magnetics. Again, not IC chips. These are full of little bitty transformers. So I'll have to separate them out and just dispose of them. So, okay. So this stuff here is pretty much ready to go. I could start processing this. And somebody in the comment in the video I made on buying the chips on eBay said, well, you should just process this stuff and see how the result matches up with your with your estimate of what you're going to get which is not a bad idea problem is um, some of this stuff is ready to go right now some of this stuff needs to be boiled in muriatic acid first and some of this stuff needs to be uh, pickled in in muriatic acid for about a month before it's ready to go so but um, it's this stuff down here, which I estimated maybe only a tenth of a gram I would get from it. Which, although looking at it, I might do a little better. Hard to say. Um, that needs to be, needs the long-term pickling. And a lot of these are ceramics, which I'm not even going to bother processing. Because my process is geared towards um, plastic ICs. So what I will probably do is just process this stuff. And we'll assume that I'm, I'm losing at least a tenth of a gram out of whatever I get by not processing this stuff yet. So I will sort through this stuff, get the magnetics and the ceramics out of it. And I will put it in my um, big bucket OIC chips, which is um, going to be slowly processed over time in batches through the muriatic acid to uh, get the legs off. And then uh, eventually they'll get processed and rendered down for their gold. But this stuff here is a lot more ready to go. So what I would probably do is, uh, I'd say that's ready to go. That's ready to go. That's ready to go. These definitely ready to go. These two need to be uh, boiled in muriatic acid to get all the tin balls off the bottom of them. Then they'll be ready to go. So what I'll do is I'll just set this stuff aside, boil this stuff, then we'll process all this and see how much gold we get, see how well it matches my estimate. Um, and then uh, we'll just assume I've lost at least a tenth of a gram by not processing this stuff. So 
So I think that's what we'll do. So over the next uh, week or so, it'll all be compressed into a much shorter period of time for you guys. I will do that. I will get to work on this and we'll see what we get. Okay, now as for this stuff, this is kind of the the low end. I mean, this stuff needs more processing and there's a lot of ceramics here. And a lot of other stuff. Let me let me look through this and see if any of it's valuable. Now, well, some of it I can see right off is just garbage. These are magnetics. Uh, those right there, those are those are no good. I'll start a no good pile over here. Let me just dump this stuff out. Look through it. Um, that's got some sort of house numbering on it. I do not recognize what that might be. I probably won't be able to figure out what it is. So, if I can't figure out what it is, I certainly can't reuse it in my retro computing project. So I'll put a. There's a, so I got a no good pile over here, and I'll put a just process pile over there. So a lot of these, yeah, they're. Yeah, these are. A lot of these are just going to go in the just process pile. There's another magnetic. Okay. Well, here's a perfectly good chip. The legs are all nice. I don't immediately recognize the number, but it, I should be able to look it up and see. So I'll, I'll, I'm going to start another pile over here of uh, look up the numbers on them and and see what they are. So process. Um, so we got. Uh, Let's see, that's process. We look under this label on this IC chip here. If this is boring you, just skip ahead to where I'm actually processing stuff if that's what you came here for. But, uh, you know, some of these chips can have a second life in my retro computing projects and I can get a little value out of them that way you know without uh, just processing them okay so this is what the heck is this? oh okay 27C256 so that is a prom that is a one-time programmable EEPROM is basically an EEPROM in an opaque plastic package, you can program it once, but you can't reprogram it. So that's of no use to me. We'll process it. That looks like the same thing. We'll process that. And there's another one. And there's another one. And what do we got under the label on this one? And there's another one. Okay. And that's a, that's a PAL chip. I recognize that. That's a PAL chip. That's, that's just all mangled. That can be processed, whatever it is. got to look that one up. That's a one-time programmable, so that can be processed. we got these big ceramic EEPROM looking things, or are they processors? I don't know. I'll have to look under the label and see exactly what they are. Uh, and then look at the... 27C1024. Okay. So that's a 64K by 16-bit EEPROM right there. Now that, that could actually be quite useful if I can straighten the legs out without them breaking. So that might be a keeper for the retro computing. There's another one. So that might be a keeper. And here's another one. So that might be a keeper. Uh, what do we got here? 27C256. Now that's a ceramic EEPROM, but I have a ton of these and not that much of a use for very many of them. So that can just set aside. I haven't decided what to do with these ceramic chips. I still need to do some R&D on how best to process them to get the precious metals out of them. Another 27C256 ceramic. Uh, I can't quite read the number on that. Let me peel the label back. Yep, another 27C256. Okay. And then about this rest of this stuff here. Let's see what we got. Oh, what's this? D4146. Uh, 
four what d one d four one four six four c that that is a sixty four k by four dynamic ram chip that could be useful for retro computing yes if it's good I have to test it oh what's this that's another one that's another ram chip okay that's uh that's a pal chip that with a process pile uh what else have we got there's another RAM chip. And then, oh, that's another magnetic. That's junk. What's under here? Ah, I've seen that before. That is a one time PROM. 32, um, what is it? 8 bits by 32, I think, prom, so we just process that. Can't can't reprogram it. I'll bet that's a Texas Instruments signal processing chip, but the legs are all beat up on it, so I'm not even going to bother with it. I'll just throw it in the process pile. In fact, I think just about everything else here looks like just process it for the gold. So all this stuff up here, sorted out, is going to go... Um, through my normal process, which is a fairly slow process. I'll, I'll put it in the bucket of chips I've got that's um, slowly being processed because i got about 80 pounds of chips. Um, so it starts with a month long, few weeks to a month long soak in muriatic acid to uh, dissolve the legs off. Then, uh, then there's incineration and um, gravity separation and all the other good stuff that goes into it. Um, Let's see, this is garbage here. These are ceramic EPROMs that I really don't have a process for dealing with right now. Um, these over here are chips I need to look up and see if I can reuse. I th I'm pretty sure I can reuse these and these if they're good. And uh, I need to look that one up and see what it is. I am not certain. So. Those will be uh, set aside for retro computing. If I can't use this one, or if any of these RAM chips are bad, they'll just go into this uh, process pile over here. All right, so the rest of this stuff, I will uh, get started on dealing with.